62-year-old Santiago Co says that for the past 35 years, he has been working and developing the family's 30 acres parcel of land. He inherited the land from his father, and he says everyone in San Jose Socot's village in Cayo West knows this. But tonight, Ko is angry and worried because he found Severe's peg in his farmland and has since heard that the village council decided to use his land for a village expansion project. Ko says that the alcalde of the village, Alfredo Mancenero, who works at the lands department, failed to inform the family. He never went to check my land. Mm. This is the first thing that he have to do. Mm -hmm. But he never go and check my land, and this is the problem. When I went there and, uh, and I told him, no, Mr. Montanero, yes, sir. We, are, we, are, we are come to see this land. What are you doing with this land? They told me, they no got no name. They no got no, no nothing, no paper, no got no numbers. They invalid, they say so. And, we, and then we saw this paper and he told me that no valley. So this is the problem. Y quiero decir que él nunca nos avisó para eh, cortar el terreno. Nunca. Uh, cuando yo llegué es porque ya lo estaba haciendo, ¿ok? Sí. Sí. Yes. Ok. He never, he never told me nothing. He just went and cut it and that's all. Um, that's he why. He knows you personally. Sorry? He knows you. He, and you. he know me very well. Yesterday, I just went to, to, to my farm. I reached right there by, by the road. And I, I want to make his stand where they, they, they are dividing my land. And he never, he never stopped there. He just went up. And then and and then when he come back, I I still waiting for him, and he never he never he never stopped there. He gone back again. He know what are they are doing. Located along Waterhole Road, some two miles out of Sakuts, the land remains in Ku's father's name, but he is deceased, and the Ku family says that the land department has refused to transfer the title. And because they have refused to transfer the title. The land department has also refused all land tax payments for the past seven years. But Ku kept working the land for many years. He has planted corn and beans and other crops which his family consumes. The situation that is right now is, is not a good situation, no? As, as you know, they're dividing the, they're subdividing the, the, the 30 acres for give it to the people, no? Which is uh, very injustice. Uh, we, have, we have been working there for the past 35 years since my grandfather was living. So the, the land is very, very valuable to us as well because my father doesn't have a job. He is, he's a farmer all his life and he depends on the, on, the, on the land. That's where our food comes from. We have uh, avocado trees, we have coconut trees as well. We have, uh, right now we have planted beans. We have a uh, corn that is already giving crop. No, we have um, we have plantain trees. We have banana bananas. We have um, mango trees. We have we have uh, uh, even even plum trees. Uh, uh, different different varieties of, of of trees that we can grow from the land. No, so like how my father said, the 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 land situation is. Uh, very, very concerning for him because that's, that's where he lives and th that's where he gets his food from. It is an injustice, says the Ku family, but they are not the only victim. Maria Chable also owns land along Waterhole Road, 14.5 acres of farmland. And she says that her land is being demarcated by trespassers. She too heard that her land is being used for the village expansion project. That piece of land has been in my family for years, from since my my, grand, my grandfather had it and then it passed into my father's name. And then um, when my pa father passed, my mother took it over and then once she passed away and now I am, I am the one who has the, the non the bonus for that, for that land. We have harvested corn, we have harvested um, beans, we have reared chickens there. Um, it is also used for pasture, sometimes sheep, when my neighbor needs pasture land, you know, we help one another. And at the moment, I invested over $10,000 um, to build a, a pond, a well. So besides that, they invent things so that 
the people would think that they did not do anything wrong. And that is totally wrong. They are telling the people you're going to get land. They don't tell the people, the owners have put it up to the courts and we cannot acquire the land because we did not do the correct procedures. They go and invent certain things that are wrong. Why are you going to be um, committing more injustices on top of injustices? That is wrong. And then there's the case of Scott Jenkins. His land is also located in the same area, 88 acres of family land that is being subdivided without his permission. Jenkins says that he has lied up. His parents are buried in the land. It was in probing because my parents had died, passed away. My mom and my dad had passed away. My dad was the last person. So I went in probate is what I know through my lawyer, you know? So that's why I don't understand how did it go through probate? Not only that, in January, I just paid the land tax. So through my lawyer, Meyer and Bender, we paid the land tax. So I, I didn't get it. How did the government, you know, get, get my land, get a hold of my land? That, it's just, and my main concern of it is, is my parents are buried there on, on, on the land. That was, you know, it was over 40 years my dad had this land. You know, my family had this land. So, um, and I always go back and forth, you know, to make sure that anything was going on, but I knew that there was nothing supposed to be done with it. But again, it's the, I, I just, you know, I'm stumped. So I know my lawyer is working very hard to find out what's going on. So, but, um, you have some of the pictures, you can see that those are government um, um, chocks there that they have, like they're just chopping it out. None of these landowners have received any formal communication from the village council or the lands departments that their property have been acquired for a village expansion project. They say that surveyors began appearing about a month ago. The idea for the expansion project for the villagers to get a piece of land reportedly came from Mancinero and Orwin Contreras, the UDP A representative. The, what they did is that they didn't tell him that they were going to cut or subdivide nothing. They just went into the land and do what they, they need to do. No? So when we asked them who sent you this, they said, you know, the Mr. Contreras is the one that gave the permission to subdivide the, the land. So definitely it's, um, it's not a good situation. No? I hear that um, it's the village council along with the air representative. And what I don't like is that they don't go through the right procedures. Because if you do want something, I was taught that if you do want something or you need something, you ask for it. You don't just go and grab. To me, it's just that, that, that insane man. That, I mean, you can't just do that. You just can't take people land with them parents, bury on it and just, oh, make I go do what I want and go freestyle people land way. You can, is anything. Do you find it suspicious that this is happening now during election season? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, you, you, that you, you, you got right. That, I, I find that very, very suspicious. Reporting for News 5, Hippolyta Novello.